I found out what I've been missing always on the run I was looking for someone you give good love to me baby so good take this heart of mine into your hands <laughs> I'm back with another review married at first sight stay tuned Hello and welcome to Lox Coffee and Combo, where we invite you to pull up and pour yourself a cup of something nice and strong, and let's chat. We back for another Love at First Sight review, season 10, episode 6, six <laughs> Sea Sickness. And how y'all like that Whitney Houston, the late, great, amazing Whitney Houston. You give good love. Because that's where we are. We are. Our couples are still in that uh, post quarter stage for the most part. They're in that, that lovey-dovey stage. So you, you giving good love. So we are here. Day five of the marriage, I believe it is. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I didn't take the best notes this week, but I'm here with you and I'm here for you. Uh, our brew of the day is Maxwell House Chai Latte. Oh, it's so good. Got it at my local Ollie's. Oh, got a, got one container. So good. Went back, got me two more containers because you know how Ollie's are. They, they. It might not be there when I go back, so <laughs> it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. And we need it because this was a good episode. So we are back. Everybody wakes up the next morning after their group dinner, and everybody is kind of just in a good place. Derek and Katie are still in that lovey dovey get it home he said he slept so good she told him that she didn't have to get the mouth guard out like the sister said but you know he didn't snore they're in a good place um let's see mindy and zach zach said he slept really good <laughs> he said he slept more than he had slept in a long time he had told her once before that he gets up at 4 30 uh, but it's it's overwhelming for Mindy. He said this is the most he's slept in years. Um, Austin and Jessica still in a very... Ooh, they grown and sexy. Oh, they so grown and sexy. <laughs> they woke up in a good place. Um, he said they had breakfast. She said we're going to have it at the foot of the bed. Austin says that Jessica is a strong woman, which is what he's looking for. You know, he kind of... And I could... You know, he's a mama's boy. So I can understand that he wants somebody that's going, you know, kind of call the shots and Jessica's that. So I ain't mad at him, you know. They talk about a dog and they both agree that right now at first they got to learn how to kind of get along with one another. But if things work out with them, they'll get a dog down the road. So that was good. Um, Brandon and Taylor, uh, you know, he did the rose petals in the water and all that so they they back on track right now and uh they're talking you know and they're in a good space he had steak he left his steak in the bed and you know little kiki they was cool they was cute um who else i think it's everybody except for mika and mike who are still in separate quarters and I was worried. I was like, oh, Lord, have mercy. When y'all gonna get it together? But they are, you know, she said she didn't go on her honeymoon to both of them. She was speaking for both of them. She said, both of us, we didn't go on this honeymoon to sleep alone, to be alone, you know, and it's kind of sad. And so they, you know, kind of, and he says the same sentiment in his one-on-one uh, -on -one that, you know, he's disappointed in himself that, that the marriage is not where it should be right now. So the couples are going on a Cataran ride. I hope I said that right. Shout out to Chad with JoJo. She kept saying it. I don't, I can't keep saying it because I don't know if I got the word right. But they're going on a yacht trip. They're going on a boat. 
let's just say it because you know I'm country. They going on a boat ride. How about that? <laughs> Around the island and it's nice. And so everybody's coming to the boat to the van to go to the boat. And uh the couples are talking about having kids and you know, they're kinda all over the place. Everybody kinda wants some. Mindy and Zach, Zach was like, mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> but she tried to clean it up and that's that's what a wife does you know clean things up uh Derek and katie katie said in about two years she's got a schedule in about two years which this is her whole point of married at first sight she wants to have kids sooner as opposed to later uh brandon uh, taylor said that her and brandon had just been talking about it the night before and they want one uh at least one probably more so they talked about that uh, the last ones to get to the boat were Oh Grown and Sexy Austin and <laughs> Jessica. And they come on and then they're wondering about Mika and Mike because Mika and Mike are not on the boat. I mean, on the van to go to the boat. So um, I'm worried too. <laughs> like, what's going on with them? But come to find out, they made a very wise decision. And I was so happy that they decided not to go on the boat trip, but to spend the day together. So the rest of the crew are going on to go on the boat ride. And they're having a good time. It's, it's a grown folks good time on the boat. Uh, Brandon is talking about he wants to drive. And so he's in a good mood. Uh, Taylor is snapping it up. She's snapping it up. She got a, a large um, social media following. And it makes sense because she's a pretty girl and she's also, uh, she promotes a bourbon company. So it makes, it, is, was it just me? But it made sense to me. But she's taking pictures. Uh, Austin and Jessica, they're having a good time. Zach and Mindy at that time are having a decent time. Um, Katie and Derek still in that. So they're, they're out there. They're having a good time on the boat. But Mike and Mika decided to have some Mike and Mika time, which is important because Mike and Mika have lost two days <laughs> being mad. It's just like uh, Taylor said last week, you know, that it was important for their date when they went to the animal sanctuary because they lost a day clowning. We're going to get back to that in a minute. Clowning, though. So they uh, decide to explore the island together. Now, this is my first aha moment this week. I, ha ha, feel like that Mike really was just, it was a communication issue. I don't think he was being a jerk. Now, I may be wrong. Y'all might disagree with me. But after tonight's episode, or, la or whenever I watch the episode... Uh, I don't think he was being a jerk. I think it really was a communication thing. Mike is giving me geek chic. <laughs> and that's me. I have no problem with that. I'm the biggest nerd in the world. Uh, but, you know, it, geek chic is what he's giving me. Like, he's, he's a geeky guy. He just probably said it wrong. Thinking, speaking before thinking, and just probably... It was a communication issue. I don't think he meant to press Mika at all. Uh, and so I was glad he showed up tonight. Uh, he showed up. Mike showed up. I was so proud of Mike. Okay. Mike did the thing this episode. Uh, him and his girl went out and he kind of just let his wall down. And he just, I mean, he he was talking. <laughs> Somebody said on that video, he was chatty catty. They, the flip, he flipped the switch, okay? And he was talking, He but he was giving her mic, and that's important. And his sister said that she wanted him to be honest and authentic in this journey. And I think on this episode, he was. He was really, really just giving Mika Michael, letting Mika into Michael's world. And I think that was really good. I think it was very smart of them to get away from the other couples because they would have got caught up in that trying to put on airs because I think Mike has the tendency to put on airs in front of everybody else and some of us do that that's not the end of the world you know you had that cousin that when she around everybody else or he around everybody else he real special <laughs> you know he extra special and he probably has the tendency to do that but at that moment it was just Micah and Mika and so they had that. I thought it was great. He talked about how he has a Honda CRV he had since 2006. I can, uh, I can uh, get with you, Mike. I've had two Honda CRVs. They are great vehicles, Mika, honey. Now I don't know about the 20,000 miles. That sound a little bit. 20,000 miles sound a little bit low, but baby, when I tell you those are good vehicles, I had two of them. 
and probably my next vehicle <laughs> will be one as well. So that was cute. He talked about his job and how he decided on his career for um, working with kids, how teachers, you know, meant a lot to him along the way, which is so important. I have had, I had some amazing teachers that really made the difference in my life as well, even back to first grade with me. So I know how important a good teacher is. Um, you you know, he just talked about his family and how he's traveling. Now, at first, I felt like Mika was like giving us like the stone face. She wasn't softening. I was like, come on, Mika, come on, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, come on. I'm going to need you to give. But as time went on, she seemed to soften a little bit. And I know we got that strong black girl thing going on. But she began to soften. I, I could see it a little bit. So um, she, he just kind of opened up, though. I thought he really showed up, and I thought he really gave it a great effort today. And so I was proud of Mike. If nobody else was proud of Mike, I was proud of Mike. They stopped at a little shave ice stand, and she said, I don't, I don't, I do what I know. I don't do nothing else. <laughs> but he was brave, and he was going to try something different. She wanted strawberry. Don't give me nothing else but strawberry. Again, type A personality. So he got something he didn't like. <laughs> But that's okay. That's the balance between things. You know, you have one partner that's willing to try things. One partner that's like, mm -mm. <laughs> now I got my cup. So that's nasty. I'm going to give you a spoonful of mine. That's how me and my husband probably be. I try something different. He'd be like, now you know, you didn't want that here, here, <laughs> give me his. So, you know, that, that's a great, that's a great balance. So I think, I think they worked out. I thought it was cute. I thought she had a a good moment when they went to the vendor stand and she had him try on the necklace and she was like, that was like a wife move. Let me see. Let me see how it's going to look on you, baby. Let me see. Okay. That's the one. That's the one. So that was the best idea they had so far to not go with the group, but to spend that time with one another, do what uh, Pastor Cal had uh, suggested and just become friends. Just get to know one another. Just open up. Talk about, you know, stuff that y'all need to talk about and catch up because y'all need to catch up. So I thought that was really good. Uh, the group had fun. They were all out on their on the noodle. I would have failed at this activity because I'm not a vivacious swimmer. So I'd have been on the yacht like, yeah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was cute. Everybody was out there. They was having a good time. They lost Zach for a minute. <laughs> That old slick Brandon said his hair did not get out of place. And it did. Zach's hair. Zach's hair should have its own show. <laughs> it should have a spinoff. Uh, but he came on back around. And then they had their separate time. The men went one way. The women went one way. <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad. It's good to have people to talk to. It is to have like. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that's probably a, a downfall here. But the guys are talking and they just being like boys in a locker room. Who done hit? You hit? Did you get the hit? Is it good? <laughs> you know, they had those moments. Brandon said that he just tried to get to know her. Of course, uh, Derek and Austin, you know, they in the, they in the end zone. So they, you know, got to worry about it. Of course, uh, Zach Zach ain't got no interest in that <laughs> at all, <laughs> at all. So the women are talking, and of course, they're talking about, you know, their experiences as well. <laughs> and Taylor just had to go and let us know that she got her own personal diva, <laughs> her little princess. <laughs> and it hit me. At, that's my second aha moment. It hit me. Brandon is spoiled, okay? I still stand by my statement last week that he may be a con artist but he's a spoiled con artist you know she talked about the fact that he did you know he spazzed out and we see later on in the episode that he can really spaz out but um yeah <laughs> brandon so uh they just had their, you know, their time to talk about things. And so I thought that was, you know, again, it's good, but I don't know if it's good. It's like Mike said last week, you know, you don't want to air out your stuff in front of everybody. So you have to be careful. But I think for the most part, everybody had a really great time. Jessica and Austin had a great moment where they talked about religion. And I thought this was going to be a breaking point for them because they, they are, again, premier couple right now. So they both in the same place. They both went to church a lot as kids. And that happens. And as you get older, I'm from the back. Church, you know what we call them CMEs <laughs> Christmas 
Mother's Day and Easter. <laughs> That's when they come. CME. So, you know, that happens. And the, both of them, though, are in the same place. But both of them do believe they both have, you know, want their children to have a, a faith background. So, I thought that was good. Um, Katie did something special for Derek. He he's the, wanted to ex, have an experience that she allowed him to have. You know, they went off and had their time together. So, I thought that was great. They're, they still seem to be just, just so cute. Cute, 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 cute. So, all is well for now. <laughs> so then they get back and everybody's kind of in that place where they're trying to talk about, because this is the last day, I think, and they're headed home. And so they're kind of talking about how things will be, you know, back in the real world. And um, Jessica and Austin, you know, he, he just, he's a little messy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm messy too, Austin. <laughs> Don't feel bad. So they kind of have that conversation. Um, Forgot to talk about uh, Zen, Mac and, and Mac. <laughs> Mac. Who is Mac? Zach and Mindy at the beginning. They just, they had problems. She tells him about her shower, that she likes showers really, really hot. And I do too. My husband, on the other hand, is like Zach. He likes them cold. So they have this whole conversation. She tells him that she turned beet red. <laughs> then he asks her if she took a shower. <laughs> Zach, I'm going to need you to try. I'm going to need you to try. T-R-Y, try. That's the word for Zach this week is try, okay? I'm like, are you serious? But then I had that moment of when the second or well, third episode where she didn't want to shower. <laughs> you doing a hygiene check, Zach? <laughs> this is a hygiene check. <laughs> Did you shower today, babe? So they just such, oh, I don't know. I think they mismatch. I'm, I'm sticking with that. But anyway, we're all in that place where we're needing to kind of wind down and have our separate dates. Um, let's just start with the easiest. Jessica and Austin, they had a great date. He planned something nice. They had the candles and the rose petals. Okay, he took that, that page from uh, Brandon who took that page from Derek. Okay, that's how we roll it down. Somebody said that they passed some candles and, and rose petals <laughs> along. They probably had them in a Ziploc bag. You want to use them tonight? <laughs> it's your night. It's, it's, hold on, it's Austin's night. What, what are the candles and the rose petals? Brandon, what you doing with them? Put them back in the bag. <laughs> but he did a great, great job. And Jessica seemed very pleased. And so they just had their, their time together. And, it, it, you know, it was, it was nice. I I saw no qualms about that. Again, they, if they ain't brother and sister, <laughs> then I'm happy for them. They done found love. Like Whitney said, they found out what they've been missing. So they they had a really nice date. Um, then we had Katie and Derek. And here, here we got a little turbulence in the other couple. They still easy, but a little bit of turbulence. They get back and uh, <laughs> Katie said, Katie said she was looking forward to having a, a few minutes to herself in the shower. <laughs> But Derek is in love. Well, he's not in love yet, but he in l lust love. <laughs> he in lust the looking for love. And so he gets in the shower with her. <laughs> Derek, get a girl a little bit of space. <laughs> She's kind of giving us, he may be suffocating me <laughs> in a moment. But she did tell him at dinner that she needs her time sometimes to kind of just, uh, alone time to kind of, recalibrate and figure out where she is and her needs and I think that's not going to be an issue for them because when you get back in the real world you got work you got family you got friends you got other responsibilities so that in itself shouldn't be a problem but right now Derek is just ooh he like a magnet <laughs> I'm on my own. <laughs> he up on my girl he up on my girl but I think their date was still very cute uh, very cute uh, Brandon and Taylor's date <laughs> Taylor's little princess so they get there they looking cute they go to a, a local spot and Taylor's giving us that I'm educated I got it she's speaking the native language and they get their drinks and they holding hands and they're both grateful that they found each other and that the experts put them together and it's all just lovely so her drink is real cute. It's green. It's got the little sparkle around it. The cherries. It's cute. So she needs to snap a pic. 
So she asks, she does. She asks, she's very, you know, very um, cordial about it. He said, okay. So now we got to have this conversation about social media. <laughs> and this is my thought about social media. I think it's an amazing tool. It's wonderful. It keeps people connected. It, how, it allows people to connect to other people. I love it. I don't have any following, so I don't know her issues, her struggles. Brandon says that when he usually don't deal with females that's got a large following because they shaking their tails for likes. <laughs> shaking them tails for likes. Hey, shaking them tails for likes. Hey, <laughs> but Brandon, I don't think it has to be that way. Taylor, uh, her, you know, she a hustler. She got three, four jobs, so she a Jamaican. And so she promotes a bourbon company. So I'm pretty sure that's connected to her um, social media. So I can see that she's a beautiful girl as well, that she would have a huge following, but not necessarily have to be caught up in it. Um, but they had the conversation. I think the conversation itself went well. She told him, you know, that she likes, she's got friends and family all across the country. And so it's a great way for them to stay connected. He says he's in his bubble and he does stuff for Brandon Reed. He don't do stuff. He don't, you know. I'm like, how did you end up on this show, Brandon? You don't like cameras. You ain't into social media. I'm side-eyeing you, Brandon. Oh, just my side. <laughs> but it uh, it go okay. You know, they she, he she explains that he says that, you know, she uh definitely engages with him. She's not always on the phone and things like that. So I like I said, I think Taylor, she's just beautiful and she's young. And this is the world we live in now. You know, everybody's my eighty year old mama, you know what she does? She gets her coffee and her tablet so she can check her Facebook every morning. It used to be coffee and newspaper. Mm -mm, now it's her coffee and her Facebook. <laughs> Everybody's on social media, Brandon. Everybody. So, again, not that big of a deal. <laughs> then we have Mika and Mike, and they're out on a terrace, and they're looking cute, and they had a good day. And so, they just get to talking about house rules. <laughs> so, Mike been doing all the talking all day from what we can see. But then Mika, old type A Mika, kicks in. So she gives him these house rules like, um, don't wake me up if I'm sleeping. You can get dressed in the dark. You get this much of the bed. I get this much of the bed. <laughs> if I'm talking, don't be looking at your phone. <laughs> he checked. He said, not Apple watching the low. <laughs> Go, Mike. Um, yeah, Micah, Mike, she type A. He had in his confessional, he was like, she a uh, little high maintenance, but he think he can handle it, but I think he can. And it didn't seem like, it seemed like she was doing it in jest. So I don't, I don't know. It might turn into an issue. No, Mike, keep your, keep your good eye open. But it was cute to see them. So they had that moment he said he could handle it. And I was about to punch the screen. I was like, if you don't get him, if you don't, if you don't make but she gave him a hug. She, I was like, come on now. This, he showed up today. He showed up today. Don't do this, Mika. Get his voice a hug, some sugar, something. She gave him a hug. And he I was like, oh, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> so, that was a cute moment. Then we get to Zach and Mindy's date. <laughs> I don't know what to do. But I'm going to say this. Please, please keep watching me. Don't turn off. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please. I'm trying to get up to at least 50 subscribers, y'all. Help me out here. <laughs> I understand Zach's problem. Not defending Zach, but I understand his problem. Zach is not attracted to Mindy. And I heard him. I heard him when he said, I've never been in this position where I've dated somebody I'm not attracted to. I get that. That's probably true. Like I said last week, Zach has a type. And when you have a type, it's like, I always date XXX. I have a close friend. Uh, we worked together for over 10 years. I used to get upset with him because I always would paint scenarios where I'd be like, well, what if she is like, 
highly educated, makes six figures, beautiful, just full figure, beautiful woman uh, with a great personality, likes sports, great sense of humor. He said, Christy, that's my name. <laughs> If I'm not attracted to her physically, then even if she got all of that, I'll be using her. I don't want to use a woman. You don't. You want me to be a user? <laughs> That's what he used to say. No, I don't want you to be a user, but I mean, be open-minded. That's what I used to tell him all the time. But I get the Zach situation. He's not attracted to Mindy. Mindy is beautiful, but Mindy is not Zach's cup of tea. Now, he talks in circles and riddles, and even Derek said it on this episode, like, what is <laughs> What is he saying? You know, but I get where he's coming from. He's never been in this position and he's blunt. And I get the reason he's like that because he doesn't want to lead her on. So they at this dinner and he's like, well, brought back up attraction again. And she was like, what you want me to do? Get breast implants? And it made me think I was right. He just said something that she didn't picked up on along the way. He like him curvy probably blonde or redhead. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to find out for y'all. I'm going to get that. I'm going to go on find Zach's ex, a couple of his exes. Because <laughs> he got a type and it ain't Mindy. Okay? And Mindy don't have to feel bad about that because they were matched together by some other people. You know, she didn't go after him. He didn't just bring her, uh, lead her on. So, I mean, we could just blame it on the experts. Because <laughs> He don't like her. He ain't attracted to her. And I get that. But this is what this, I was like, what can I do? For, what could, how could we, Zach, what could we do? You're not attracted to her. And some men just have a hard time faking that. I don't want him to fake it. And I know she, she says her honeymoon was horrible. She even ends up calling an expert, one of the experts to talk about it. And she, the expert tells her some very good, don't change who you are. And that's right. Don't ever do that. Um, but this is what I, my advice to Zach is chivalry is not dead. It's not dead at all. You don't have to be attracted to her to be a gentleman. And that's what I think he's failing. And I think that's why we like looking at him like, you piece of crap. <laughs> I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give y'all two today. I like opening doors and light her a pinky with her and help her with her coat. Treat her like a lady. Light her cigarette if she smokes, even help her with her coat. Treat her like a lady. The old temptations joint. Y'all know I'm an 80s baby. That's what you got to do. Chivalry is not dead, Zach. Treat her like a lady. You don't have to be attracted to her to hold her hand. To, to you just be chivalrous because like you said attraction I do believe is something that can grow and build I, I personally feel like it can like just because you're not physically attracted to somebody along the way you can have that like we just hooked, stay the course for a little while she do something funny you start noticing some mannerisms about her how intelligent, intelligent she is. The conversation is good. You know, the way she does this is amazing. And then before you know it, you had that moment where you're like, oh. <laughs> Maybe it's something here. Okay? You can have it. Just be chivalrous. Be a gentleman. Because then it'll make her feel a little bit more at ease. And she can show you the real Mindy. You know what I mean? But if she always on guard because I know he don't like me. I know he don't like me. I know he don't like me. Then it's not going to get anywhere. So just my advice is that I understand, Zach, that you're not attracted to her. And that's okay. If she not your type, she not your type. If you didn't do what they did. It. <laughs> the experts did it. But you can be a gentleman. Be chivalrous. Chivalry is not dead. That's my next aha moment for the night. Chivalry is not dead. It's not. Be a gentleman, you know? Help her with a bag. I mean, he even had her open up the bottle of wine last week. Zach, shame. You know, be a gentleman. Just be a gentleman. And you might see something you like that you didn't know was there. Then we get to ready to go home to the real world, back to Washington, D.C. Everybody's cool. Katie, Derek, who? Cool. Jessica and Austin, ooh, they too cool. Zach and Mindy, we gotta go back. Mike and Mika. 
everybody ready. Mike and Mika, shout out. Hey, they stay together. <laughs> they sleep together in them hot ass robes. <laughs> but they back in the same living quarter. So, woo, Mike put it on her. Mike put it on her. Time to go home, though. And Brandon Taylor's little diva. <laughs> His little princess. <laughs> her, her little princess. Don't want to tape. So the cameramen are there to tape them and he has a problem. He need 10 minutes. Now I was thinking to myself like 10 minutes doesn't seem like a long time. Like he let him go get some water, clear his throat, stretch his legs or whatever. But the problem is they probably had been trying to get with him all morning and he was putting them off and time is a ticket and we need to get this footage and you signed up to have this documented. You signed up for this. You don't like cameras, but you went on a reality show, Brandon. 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 He greasy. I told y'all he was a crook, but I'm country, so I'm going to tell y'all what greasy is. That's a greasy, that's a greasy one. He's slick, you know. Every time you try to, he slip out your hands, you get on him and he slip out. He, you think you got him peeing this way, and then he slick you this way. He, you get him peeing. He, he, a slick, he greasy. <laughs> Taylor. Don't even worry about it. She go to talk to him trying to be the good wife. Good wife. Playing the role. You know, let me talk to him. All he hear from that conversation is she didn't want to be married. No, she don't want to be married to a jack. <laughs> she didn't say she didn't want to be married. All he hears. So now he gets on the bus clowning. She packs his stuff up. She's a good one. You a real one. <laughs> you a real one. Because his stuff would have got left <laughs> in Puerto Rico. <laughs> it got left. But uh, he get on the van. He cussing everybody out. He ready to get back to D.C. He cussing her. I'm like, oh, no. Uh -uh. He greasy. I told y'all, though. I told y'all last week, y'all. I wasn't so worried about Mike and Mika or even Zach and Mindy as I was about Taylor and Brandon. Because Brandon is slick. He the one. Everybody else got their issues just that they, they're their issues. The stuff you got to work out. But him, mm -mm. He slick. He greasy. <laughs> and it's just he is what it is. <laughs> but I'm glad to be here with y'all for another week of Married at First Sight. I am Lox Coffee and Convo. And as always, I want to invite you to pull up, pour yourself a cup of something nice and strong, and let's chat. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Hey, share your girl. I know you love me, but share me. I don't mind being shared. <laughs> Y'all have a great, great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.